folks, that's not what I wanted to do. I live in a short world. So here there are a few of you guys who'd like to see the Trans-Texas court are completely eliminated. Not going to court. Well, as Terry said, I have a plan that will make it irrelevant. Would you guys like to hear a little bit about it? Yeah. And I have to tell you a little bit first, I'm not an engineer. I don't have one of those big old stinking, honking, huge rings from Texas a and College of Engineering like all the guys across the street do here. So their attitude about me is I don't know what I'm talking about. So, Texas Department of Transportation thinks I'm a complete idiot. You guys should know that in advance, okay? <laughs> My personal opinion is that speaks pretty highly for me. Yeah. I've been driving I-35 East between Denton and Dallas one way or the other since I was in high school, so over 18 years now. Um, first going to uh, all the high school activities we were involved in, then commuting back and forth between North Texas and uh, where I live in Farmers Branch, just north of Dallas. And then now I live in Denton and I commute back and forth to Dallas for work. So uh, I got tired one day of shaking my fist at all you guys driving there on the freeway with me. I realized one day it was a Mercedes in front of me cutting me off. The previous day it was a Toyota, and the day before that it was an excursion. I thought, you know what? I don't think it's the people driving that's the problems. I started paying attention to the freeways. I figured out what the problem was. It is the design of the freeways. It's how they, just, uh, it's how they dump freeway traffic, on, uh, excuse me, access road traffic onto the uh, freeway before they take it off. I came up with a really, really simple solution to this problem. I have professional engineers at North Central Texas Council of Governments who have signed off on my plan and said, man, this is fantastic. It's cheap, it's easy to implement, it's highly effective, that's the key, and it's widely applicable. So basically what you've got is one problem that shows itself on the freeway a thousand times. Every time that you see congestion, it's the problems that I'm noticing and that I, that I uh, just mentioned. It's where traffic gets on the freeway first before it comes off. That's a really simple fix. New design freeway uh, theory holds basically reversing that. So everything that TxDOT wants to do in building new freeways is saying, Dave's proposal is great, it's just that he's gonna do it a hell of a lot cheaper than what we want to. <laughs> yeah. okay. So you can see why they're against what I'm wanting to do because they wanna spend a billion dollars a mile to build new freeways. I guess I should speak into the mic, that's why it's here. All right. Uh, further, I just found out recently, the National Service Transportation Commission that was commissioned by Congress is basically calling for a plan similar to what I'm proposing. They're saying we need something that's going to reduce or eliminate 20% of existing congestion on existing roadways. Now you tell me, do you think TTC is going to do something for I-35 between San Antonio and where I drive in Denton? No! no. Zero. TxDOT's opposed to it. They sent me a really nice email a while back that said, uh, we see no need for your plan. We foresee no need for your plan. We, uh, what was the word that they used? Well, I forget the fancy word, but they've given me all the time that they're going to give me. I met with Deputy Director Stephen Simmons in his office right across the street. It's a nice view of the Capitol, let me tell you. They need somebody better in that office. We've given you all the time we're going to give you. Go away. He didn't quite say it that bluntly. But I did like his fifth point. You'll probably like this too. And good luck with your concept. <laughs> Thought, thank you, Director Simmons. Appreciate it. You too. You want to stop the TTC? Here's the problem. Texas, the problem. Right across the street from here is uh, That's right. is Miss Faith Chatham. Chatham still here anywhere? There's a little nice old lady over here. A little while ago, she probably got like me calling her nice old lady. There was a nice lady right over here a little while ago who's walking around holding this sign saying. Sunset Commission, don't renew TxDOT. And I wanted to make her my adopted mother-in-law here or something. Yes. Guys, yes. I'm working with the Sunset Commission staff at present. In their present review, they are reviewing TxDOT right now. Next month in May, they will be releasing a report that is their recommendations to the state legislature on what needs to happen with TxDOT. And here's the funny thing. The legislature next year must act in order to renew tech stock. If they don't, it sunsets, which means it goes away. Yes. Okay. Yes. So these people are going to be taking up specifically tech stock next spring. I'm working with the Sunset Commission in July. I will be uh, testifying before them, I guess right here. 
Uh, my two recommendations are very similar, uh, very simple rather. First is to eliminate the appointed commissioner, replace him, them, with an elected commissioner. So where we elect the agriculture commissioner, where we elect the railroad commissioner, I'm proposing we need to be able to elect the transportation commissioner. But even more importantly, and you guys are going to like this, explain to me, how is TTC going to go through if TxDOT goes away? Yeah! You like my method of thought? Yeah! Good luck with your concept, yeah. Mr. Uh, Deputy Director. I appreciate your input. I'm recommending Sunset uh, Commission and the Texas Legislature eliminate TxDOT as we now know it. To get rid of the state level of bureaucracy, their paperwork already says, their materials already say, we want to empower the MPOs, Metropolitan Planning Organizations, like Council of Governments, to solve problems locally. I said, it's a great idea. Let's do that. You rid of TxDOT, give the power to the locals to deal with local problems. Houston, I have no idea what you guys are doing with the shipping channel. It's your business. Good luck with you. <laughs> San Antonio, you have absolutely nothing to say about DFW International Airport. That's our business. You don't need TxDOT telling us what we need to do. You don't need TxDOT just going through everything Terry just talked about. I'm not even familiar with all the facts that she was just uh, telling us a moment ago, but some of the stuff that they're doing is just... They don't need to be there. No. Get rid of them. They don't need to be there. Get rid of them. After the Sunset Commission uh, finalizes its public hearings in July, uh, they will be giving out their final recommendations, I believe in September or so, that will be leading up to next year's spring uh, legislative session where the House and the Senate of the state of Texas will be taking up their recommendations for the next 10 years of text dive. I'll be a part of that also. I'll be lobbying personally. And I'm just a nobody like every single one of you. I hate to call you guys nobodies. Don't take that offensively. I'm a no one from nowhere. I have no organization behind me yet. I'm not an elected official yet. We're behind you. I'm doing, I appreciate that. Thank you. I'll take every single one of you behind me. I need it. Ron Paul. for Ron Paul. I'm an individual. I've already met with Congressman Michael Burgess. I've already met with Dallas City Councilwoman Angela Hunt. My elected representative in the Texas House, Myra Crownover. I'll be meeting later this month with Senator Estes, my senator, who is on the Sunset Commission. He's going to get an earful. Isn't he going to be happy yeah, with me? Get him, David! Thank you. <laughs> then there's the 2009 legislative session next year. I don't know how long that's going to go, but this may be really fun. Now, here's the deal. If the House and the Senate, let's just, let's just say everything works out great. The House and the Senate send over to Rick Perry legislation saying we're getting rid of TxDOT. What happens if he vetoes that and says, I don't like what you gave to me? Impeach Perry! Let's, let's think about TxDOT. If he impeaches the legislation that the House and Senate send to him, it sunsets. He doesn't want TxDOT going away. That's his yard dog. That's right. Again, TTC dies with TxDOT. So That's right. keep your ears peeled. Uh, DFWFreeways.info. I don't think that we have links to my information just yet, but everything that I've been meeting with people about, all the information is going to be on there. There's going to be a link on there, dfwfreeways.info. The same fellow who's doing that website also did uh, Houston Freeways. If you want to Google that, I don't remember if it's .com, .org, .info, or what. But Oscar Slotboom is a big friend of this state, and he has an awful lot of information about the freeways of this state on those websites. Keep your ears peeled. There'll be more. Thank you so much. What was his website again? It was, what was the website again? DFWfreeways.info. DFWfreeways.info. Dfw